Tomorrow is the 50th anniversary of CKSA signing on the air, but tonight we're going back in time to the 13 days when there was no TV in Lloydminster. Daniel Barry now with a look at the night the tower collapsed. It's an event that still haunts many of the employees of New Cap Television today. Sometime after CKSA signed off on Halloween night 1979, the cables were cut on our 546 foot transmission tower just north of the city, bringing a halt to our television service. And you know, in those days, um, there was no television service, there was no cable, there was no satellite, so when the tower hit the ground, television was off the air. And uh, our general manager at that time, Peter Senchuk, uh, that's when he shot. A lot of things that occurred over the next 48 hours that they tell me about that I was doing and others were doing uh, to uh, just say, okay, we got to get back on the air and how are we going to do that? A total of six RCMP officers were assigned to the case. The tower landed on top of the transmitter building, thankfully not damaging it too severely. Management worked feverishly to get the signal back up and on the air and into people's homes. Through the phone calls uh, to, to other TV stations where we we found another transmitter that we could replace with it and we got the tower going and we weren't down very long. Uh, we were back on the air with lower power, but it happened pretty fast. Peter arranged for a used piece of tower belonging to CFRN in Edmonton to be brought in and erected at the site and restore television service to the area in just over 13 days. And just about anyone who you talk to who grew up in Lloydminster remembers what it was like when their TV stopped working. You played hockey a little longer uh, in the winter, did your chores, and uh, probably got better marks in school than, uh, than I would have. To this day, it's not known who vandalized the tower. Police questioned several people at length, but no charges were ever laid. The estimated cost and damages to the station was well over $500,000 at the time. This stump, part of the foundation of the original tower, sits just a few feet away from where our current tower is now. A haunting reminder of the darkest time in CKSA history. Tomorrow night we'll open the archives and have a look at some of the stories we've done over the last 50 years and catch up with a few former CKSA employees. Daniel Berry, Newcap News.